First and foremost, where's everyone doing? <laughs> um, I guess we're talking about insecurities this week. I guess what we can do to start out is to start out with some of my own insecurities. Um, you know, I think one of my biggest insecurities probably was uh, just my cowlick. It sounds weird, but so I had that for years, which is the front of my head where my hair <laughs> actually goes up. But uh, that was an insecurity for a while because I felt like no matter what I did, I couldn't put it down. Uh, that bothered me for years, and it kind of actually affected how I acted in front of other people. So, what were we sharing? Insecurity. Insecurities. So like, give us uh, give us something like okay. So give us an example of insecurity, uh, or what does it mean to you? Insecurity. When um, I was in high school, when I was really skinny, couldn't put on size, and he put on size, and I got made fun of a lot, <laughs> and it caused me to like get into lifting, and working out, and whatnot. Um, so that's one example for me. It's probably more personal ones we could all share, but that's just the basic one. I think uh, one for me would be probably um, being in the dance world, I don't look like the other dancers. Uh, my dances and my choreography didn't look like anybody else's, so uh, it was a major insecurity for me, especially because a, a lot of my teachers and a lot of people that looked at what I did, they didn't really like because it wasn't their style. So I guess that was one insecurity for me. Um, I think there, there's something we got to talk about. So when everybody has insecurities, right? So we're all we all deal with we all deal with insecurities. So I guess how do we how do we as a, as a, you know a group, a nation, maybe a family, whatever? How do we overcome insecurities? Like, that's, that's all. That's, there's more than one way to, to skin a cat. I mean, I think it depends on the insecurity you have. Uh, uh, well, with my insecurity, my cat, like, there's no way to overcome it. I mean, that's it's, it's a mental thing. I can't change the way my hair looks. But I think the biggest thing is realizing that we aren't, just because we're insecure, that doesn't mean that we're not good at something or that we can't succeed in that field or area. Uh, so I think just re being confident, and you can develop confidence uh, from acceptance, accepting who you are, and trying to work at um, conquering that insecurity over time, whatever it is. I mean, it's kind of a cliche answer, but I don't know. yeah, like you said, certain insecurities you can't you can't change, like personal appearance. Cer certain ones, like you're gonna you're gonna have that unless you. Do plastic surgery or get like Bosley for your cal cal yeah. oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like it's not that big. But I think overcoming them um, to be more on topic, it's just I think a constant exposure to the insecurity. Yeah. I mean, even even then it might be tough. So it's like I don't know. That's the only thing to me that's really work though. Is really just stretching yourself and and making yourself uncomfortable in an area and trying to, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's a part of who I am. Certain, certain insecurities, because certain things that are, we're insecure about, it's not always really that much of a negative thing mm -hmm. to others, at least. So, so, in other words, you're saying that um, in order, if we overcome an insecurity, that's one way of making us stronger. Oh, definitely. So, so I mean, by, I think for me, I think mostly for insecurity i think for me like uh, it's it's more than just an acceptance sort of it's more of a um i know the insecurity is there it's always but a working why group. do i have to be afraid of it yeah you know what i mean like why am i afraid of my own insecurity or why of and the weird why? thing about insecurities too you can maybe carry one around for a long time whether it be appearance whatever and then you could break it like instantly and right so sometimes I mean, so it's like weird to really gauge like, I was sharing, like, working through it over time, basically, by exposing yourself, but, I don't know, you could just randomly have a change of heart, change of mind, and overcome an insecurity. Hmm. So, it's one of those things you never know, like. What do you think, Steve? Um, yeah, I think that's very true. Um, 
So, but yeah, anyways, um, I think that's really true. A lot of my insecurities, I think, uh, at the end of the day, we all have them. And no matter if, if you want to deal with it or you don't want to deal with it, you have to deal with it. But I think it's just, it's, it's, it's an easy thing to say I can overcome my insecurity by accepting it and working at it and, and, and whatnot. But the thing of it is, is uh, it's a battle and it's real to every person. And sometimes the, the stupidest things uh, can affect us the most. So, I mean, that's pretty much my opinion on that. Um, what would you say the difference between insecurity and fear is? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that just because you have an insecurity doesn't mean that you fear it. Um, but I do, so I don't, and I think the difference that I think about, let me ponder this. I think, I think a fear is, goodness, man. I think that insecurity can cause well, Let me fear. think about that. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> get philosophical. No, that's good. I think, I think insecurity can cause a fear. Um, one thing, um, okay, is, let's, fear let's look at, insecurity. let's look at examples. So, let's take. Any, any kind of example of a leader through history, um, they all probably had insecurities, right? But that didn't stop them. Um, I guess we could look at examples of how they overcame that. Um, yes, insecurities can put fear into you, but knowing that you have an insecurity is not necessarily being afraid of it. Well, because you, you could be insecure in the sense that you're not confident, but just because you're not confident doesn't mean that you're fearful. So yeah, it's, it's basically two different things. Um, I think that that's the biggest thing to distinguish. I think both of them are, are negative forces against us as people. So they're both things that try to hinder us. And I think at the end of the day that um, an insecurity can turn into a fear if you consistently lose the battle or you consistently um, think about that insecurity and you don't try to overcome it. Right. So I think that's something to think about as well. Um, so... What do you think, Jack? Just um, the thought I was thinking of at the moment was just that um, fear of rejections of others is a big reason why people, I think, have an insecurity. Or let me let me talk because like, maybe this. they're cool with it for themselves, but like they're just afraid of how others may perceive their insecurity. Right. Say so have a cankle. I don't know something like that. Like. <laughs> it really. Sometimes. I think. I don't know. I can't. Where I don't know. Where I was going with that. Me, I was just what I was saying. The, Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. But it just leads me to, leads us to the discussion too that um, insecurities are caused because we're trying to get people to accept us for something that we're not. A lot of times, um, so I think as you know your purpose in life, you will be able to overshadow some of those things that are that make you insecure. If that makes sense, uh, because it's all about finding your purpose for who you are. Because the Bible says, "So a man thinketh in his heart, so is he." So if I believe that I'm something, it doesn't matter what you tell me or the other people around me tell me and I hear every single day. I will believe that until I have made up my mind that I'm something else. And the question comes about, well, how do I believe that I'm something? I think we believe something when we think about it repetitiously and we put it into action in our lives. So when things come to, to truth, to action, they become real. That's when we start believing that that's who we are and what we are. And the, the cliche, but they have the saying, actions speak louder than words, because that shows what yeah. something really is. I think, uh, yeah, and we're getting really philosophical. Um, <laughs> this video won't be too long, but I think the that you can categorize insecurities into three levels. Okay, there's a physical insecurity, there's a mental insecurity, and there's a spiritual insecurity. All three of those can have different effects on who you are as a person. Not letting those insecurities bother you can bring you up to the next level. Um, so, you know, when we're talking about insecurities, it's it's really a difficult thing to talk about because a lot of people don't want to talk about them. I mean, some people think they're embarrassing. Some people think that, you know, nobody else has these when that's a lie because everybody has insecurities. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that we have to work past as you know, as being human beings in order to step up and to do, you know, what God wants us to do. I think with insecurities too, I agree with everything you just said there. That's good. good points. That's good. Um, it's like insecurities, a lot of times we're self-defeating. Mm. We, we just meditate on how we feel about the insecurity instead of really think about how we can overcome an insecurity, mm -hmm. I think. So, I mean, the, like, like I said, I just, I want to keep progressing this discussion because unity, order, and progress is why the people that are watching. So the question goes about how do you overcome an insecurity? And I keep saying 
asking the same thing, because what's the point of us talking about our insecurities if we cannot overcome them? Um, I, I think the biggest thing is, like I said, not being afraid of it and kind of facing it. You know, you heard the saying, facing your fears. But so is it talking about it a step to overcoming it? If you're, it, talk, if it, you're specifically like throwing it, it out there. It is. It, it, well, I wouldn't say it's, I guess it's it, just, can be. it can be, but it's not, you're not actually doing anything to counter yeah. the insecurity. We also, we also have to be careful that's, about that's our, <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, we all, you got a good point. We also have to be careful about our thought process because dwelling on something, and we all know this, dwelling on something can give it too much power. So in other well, words, how do we, how do we control our thought process? We need to, we need to face it. But at the same time, we shouldn't dwell on it so much that we become afraid of it. Yes, and I think I think it's this too. I think our stress levels control our fight sometimes in life. So if we're gonna face our fears, it's cliche. Everyone says face your fears. We all know to do it, but we don't do it. But the question is, why don't we do it? And I would say we don't do it because we run out of gas, our energy. We're tired of trying and failing, getting the same result over and over mm -hmm. and over again. It's so monotonous. Yep. It's, it's so it's life sucking. True. There's no energy. So I think that's why we quit as people. Uh, so what we need to do is surround ourselves with people that are going to encourage us, build us up, surround ourselves with hobbies, prayer, and different things, and formulate um, a different view of our, in, of who we are and get energy from sources that we haven't got from before. There and if we do nothing, we're going to get the same result. There it is okay? again. I mean, we started this group um, by means of encouragement. That's, that's the whole reason why we started this group and started these videos and everything. And we come back to it over and over and over. Encouragement and motivation can be, I mean, it might be cliche, guys, but it might it's necessary for everyday life. I mean, literally this is why we talk about this stuff in every one of our videos. Because in order to step up to the next level, in order to get that better job in order to uh, achieve greater success in order to uh, make new friends we have to have encouragement and motivation in every day of our lives I, I, th I think that's good I, th I think you're never going to develop there's something about energy and being charismatic with people that attracts them uh, so you're never going to end up developing a friendship with somebody if you have nothing to offer them because uh, we're all needy people so I think that you have to bring energy and then as you do that people will cling to you video Josh actually right now he's actually that's probably his best asset is his energy and I can know nothing about him and still want to hang out with him just based off his body language his outlook on life and <laughs> his that that big smile that never are. fails yeah. to to brighten my day even Hope when I feel like my day's been terrible get out so there. I'll give it to you for a second um, I don't really know what I'm going to say um, talk about encouragement and motivation how, how, does that, how does that help against insecurity because like you said, because it's like if you're if you're drained mentally, you know, spiritually, that kind of thing, you're not going to want to try to work on an insecurity. Mm -hmm. You just go to bed, sleep, th well, I sleep that night. Oh, I'm not going to think about it. I'll wake up. It's a new day. But I think it. And then you restart the cycle of, oh, this insecurity. I'm thinking about it again. But we don't act upon. It. I think to really break an insecurity, like I said, you have to mm -hmm. actively be wanting to attack it. And let me know? say this too. And you can hold this camera. Just hold the camera for me. I don't. It's weird for me to put it in front of me. So, anyways, <laughs> what, what I want to say it's though is, screen. I think it goes Everybody beyond. The skin of cat. <laughs> it goes, <laughs> right? It, it goes beyond just the day, though. Obviously, oh, Jay's saying that you know when we get insecure, a lot of times we give up, we go to sleep. Tomorrow's a new day. I think we hold these insecurities for months, years, and even sometimes you know 10, 15, 20 years in our life, and it actually affects us as people. So mm -hmm. I think that it's more, more, it's much more difficult. For us, sometimes we, the root of the problem, getting to the root, is very confusing and very hard to get to. Like, we see the outskirts of the problem, and we're like, okay, I have to fix this. But the root is so much deeper, and that's why they don't get fixed. Mm -hmm. We A lot of times, the other people to help us identify that root, especially people that are close to us. Mm -hmm. That sometimes, you ever heard the saying, somebody knows you better than yourself? That kind of, that's, that's, that's kind of where that comes from. And then as we identify that, um, we're able to counter that with efficient tactics. I challenge... You know, also, another point is, um, you know, when you said somebody knows you better than yourself, I mean, when we're looking at insecurities, I mean, especially for us as Christians, don't we think that God knows us better than ourselves? Absolutely. And we, we want to believe the lie that we can't do something or we can't be something, but the whole time he's telling us we can. 
So, I mean, that's another way no to, to think about it. Uh -huh. uh, especially for us as believers, oh, yeah. it's, it's a positive way of thinking about it. Definitely. That's good. Any I was thinking thoughts? about it like this. I had one last thought, like connecting others might know you better than yourself. Think of it like uh, when you check your body. This is more for those who are constantly trying to change their physique. When you look at your body every day, you're not going to notice any changes. Mm -hmm. But when you Excellent. don't see someone for six months, you see a family member, wow, you've got humongous. Or if that's your goal. Or wow, you've lost so much weight. They notice that, outs like, like once again, it's an outside source giving you a more accurate picture than what you have of yourself, your, your vision at the moment. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I just, yeah, you're exactly right. And I think this kind of is an off topic from, minded by from what you said. Yeah, so other people sometimes their encouragement will cause us to kind of feel good about ourselves and give mm -hmm. us a breakthrough. And a lot of times we don't see the things we're good at. But what I wanted to say too, really quick though, is I think a lot of times our insecurities, we make mountains out of molehills. So a lot of times it's not that big of a deal. And we have, we have made it into a big deal because we have continued to believe a lie over time or we've continued to allow other people amplify um, to something that's not very, very uh, significant or in, as meaningful as people say. And over time, actually, that will wear at you. And you'll almost, you can change your identity if you carry that insecurity and allow it to grow and grow and grow. And you'll become a completely different person than you once were. And that goes back to giving power to it. Um, so I want to encourage you guys online and I want to encourage you guys on, on YouTube and everybody watching this show that, you know, we all have insecurities. Number one, you're not alone. Number two, there's three levels. Remember I told you there's physical, mental, and spiritual. So identify which one of those is your insecurity. Well, and then, that's a horrible three. Yeah, that's yep. true. <laughs> and then on top of that, you know, the way to overcome encourage or in, overcome insecurities, I can't talk, um, is through motivation, encouragement, not giving it power. I mean, just look at the positive aspects in your life um, and knowing that God believes you to be bigger. something bigger than what you may think yourself to be. Okay? Positive influences go with that too. So surround, don't surround yourself with others that are going to keep like, attacking your insecurity. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You and know, I'm just, I hear sense, this. Let me people just, don't, though. People no, don't they really don't. themselves with the right people. They wonder just, why they're not changing for the better. Let like. me just share this really quick. I just feel like I just, this closing comment. I was talking to this girl for a while, and I'm not going to disclose her name. But anyways, I always was told, I will never become this person that you are. And just, this whole idea is the fact that a lot of times as people, we accept the fact that we can never change, even if it involves a, a bunch of effort, time, or energy. So I think that I just want to encourage you guys because you're watching this video that no matter where you're at, you guys can change and you guys can formulate a lifestyle that you really want to be to become and you don't have to let that set you back because that's the whole point of making these videos so that you guys will recognize your insecurities, attack them, counter them back and become the person that you want to become rather than letting them hinder you and you becoming a person that's complacent, mediocre or unsuccessful in your eyes. So. That's like we said, say. there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> That's going to be the title of this video. So, uh, guys, remember that. Stay positive. Be a positive outlook. And from the rest of us, peace out. Later. See you next week. <laughs>